Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we'll go through the different number of solutions to equations. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on solving equations, they'll be linked in the description below, as well as the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before you watch this one. So there are three different possible solutions to equations. One solution, no solution, and infinitely many solutions. If there is only one solution to an equation, then there will only be one variable and one number. This means that on one side of the equal sign, there will be a variable, and on the other, there will be a number. For example, x is equal to 3 and negative 4 equals a show that there are only one solution to the equation. x can only equal 3 and a can only equal 4, negative 4. If there is no solution to equations, then each side of the equal sign will have a different number. Some examples of answers with no solution are 3 is equal to 4 or 53 is equal to 11. There is no solution because 3 doesn't equal 4 and 53 doesn't equal 11. Last but not least, if there are, any in, if there are infinitely many solutions, then the same variable or the same number will be on both sides of the equal sign. What I mean by this is that if you get something like z equals z or 12 equals 12, then there are infinitely many solutions to the equations. You can plug more than one number into the variable and the equation will still stay true. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for practice problems to help practice solving equations with one solution, no solution, and infinitely many solutions. Thanks for watching.